Hey everyone, this is Shapiro. I'm also known as Rhino Face, formerly known as Rhino Face. Uh, I'm an NA player, and I'm gonna preface this by saying I'm no, by no means high elo or a, a, a great player. I've not I've not even played League for that long, only since February 2018. I'm gold three right now. I don't even play that much ranked. I don't have much interest in ranked. I could probably be plat if I wanted to climb, but I'm prefacing it with I'm not a great player. But since I've started playing in February 2018, uh, I've racked up 400,000 mastery points on Mordekaiser before his rework. I'm by far a Mordekaiser main. <clears throat> However, after the rework, uh, me and other notable Mordekaiser players have lost interest in the champion uh, for multiple reasons. And in the background, I just have some old Mordekaiser gameplay. Uh, a game where I troll build pretty hard and have a lot of fun. So I'm going to talk about some of my complaints as well as people who don't even play Mordekaiser but playing against him. And the first thing, I'm using a Reddit post from the Phantom Psychic, so shout out to him for actually doing the calculations with this. This is a comparison of the damages from old Mordekaiser's kit translated into his new kit, or opposed to his new kit. So, long story short, if you'd like to post, comment, and I'll link it. Um, Mordekaiser's old total base damage, like a full rotation of all of his abilities, is 635 base damage, plus a 5 AP scaling, plus 4.2 AD scaling. And assuming... Okay, actually, hold on. So that... And then new Mordekaiser, this is including the level damage and isolated Q, has 566 base damage, 2.49 AP scaling, and 0 AD scaling. So assuming 500 AD, or AP, he loses 840 damage off of AD scaling alone, and around 2,000 damage on just a full rotation of spells, including AP, AD, everything. And cooldown times are kind of similar, but losing 2,000 damage on a champion rework. Uh, and this is all in exchange for a long cooldown CC ability, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. So. First, I'm going to talk about a few of the complaints playing against New Mordekaiser. Uh, his passive is a large amount of Mordekaiser's damage now. Uh, so he doesn't really have to land any abilities. He can just auto attack you and do a percentage of his AP. I believe it's 0.4% scaling. So he can auto attack you for additional magic damage. Uh, his passive circle does max health damage and really just does not feel good especially when his passive doesn't have a cooldown he, you can run away from his r run away from him as soon as he procs his circle get away from him and his circle goes away and then the next time you fight him it's just immediately back up again if he attacks you three times uh, and this just creates seemingly no window of vulnerability, which is something Riot has claimed trying to create in new champions. Uh, his ult seems very unhealthy. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not a high tier player, so I'm not gonna claim that it certainly is, but it is very frustrating to have to build an item to be able to survive an ult. Uh, me personally, I'm not a fan of Zed purely because I don't want to build a Zonius. I don't want to have to have a stopwatch to survive this champion. Uh, it's the exact same thing with Mordecai's Earl. Nobody wants to build a QSS. I mean, obviously, if you do, it's not that big of a deal. But it just feels unhealthy to have to build a 1300 gold item in order to survive a Mordecai's Earl. Obviously, there are a few champions that can better. Akali's a great one. Echo, just people with a lot of mobility, but it, it doesn't feel good to play against, especially if you're immobile. Uh, 
some of the complaints playing versus or not versus as Mordekaiser, me personally, his W shield or and the shield and the sustain both feel very 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 weak compared to his old healing and shielding mechanic. He's very boring. He just is so one-dimensional now. Uh, they've limited the build path by removing the AD scalings, old Mordekaiser. And of course, referring to old, I mean Juggernaut Mordekaiser, not pre, certainly TV work. Um, you could build kind of whatever you wanted, and that's why I'm using this game as a background, is I'm proving that. You could build full tank if you wanted to. You could build full AD if you wanted to. Or, of course, the most common AP Bruiser-ish. With uh, a tiny bit of tank, not really. Um, but it, it was always interesting. You could build whatever you wanted. There was never a stale moment. If you got bored of building something, you could build something different. New Mordekaiser, you build AP Bruiser. Or, if tank is semi-viable, but not really. Uh, another complaint with New Mordekaiser specifically is his passive does max health damage, which is very just... That's the only thing that allows him to build very tanky and still do an absurd amount of damage. It's just uh, max health damage built into his passive. It's unnecessary. He doesn't need it. Just increase the AP scaling. Make him build AP. Or something. Um, <clears throat> but... Removing AD scaling, Riot has claimed that they didn't want to limit the build path, which is an okay argument when you look at champions with hybrid scaling, uh, namely Akali and Katarina. What item do they always build first? They always build Gunblade. But then, then you think for it for more than like a quarter of a second, and you're like, hey, wait, Ezreal, Kale. Old Mordekaiser, they all had hybrid scalings. They don't build Gunblade. Ezreal kind of sometimes does. Mor Old Mordekaiser kind of sometimes could. But it doesn't mean they did. It just means it's open as an option. I guess Kale also sometimes does now. But again, not always. And certainly not a rushed item. It doesn't limit the build path at all. It opens it up more. It's just an absurd argument. Um... This, this point's not so much as important as the limited build path, but there's also a limited rune choice. Uh, Old Mordekaiser worked with a lot of different runes. Uh, also, somewhat opinionated. But Old Mordekaiser worked very well with Summon Airy, of course, that was the most common one. Phase Rush, Electrocute was very good, Conqueror worked. Uh, Dark Harvest was pretty good. Just honest, Hail of Blades was very good into certain matchups. Press the attack was kind of troll, but I mean, it it was a thing. Uh, New Mordekaiser, you have Conqueror and occasionally Lethal Tempo. That's about it. I've seen some situational aftershocks when he first came out. People were testing, toying around with that. Other than that, uh, I play him with Fleet Footwork, sometimes ADC, but that was a thing you could do on Old Mordekaiser as well, just better. It's just not as many runes he can viably take anymore, and that also stales the, along with the build path, and they just combine to make an even more stale champion. So, there's also a lot less team play in New Mordekaiser. Uh, this one seems kind of obvious, especially since uh, the form of Mordekaiser you were saying was originally designed to be an ADC meant to work with supports. His W ability provided so much utility to the team as well as his ultimate passive. Uh, if you were in a team fight late game, your ADC gets dove on by an assassin, you can W them and give them a burst of healing that may help them survive. Or obviously you get a dragon. Uh, with your team and you siege towers exceptionally well as long as or as well as certain ghosts some were better than others but new mordekaiser just feels like 
he doesn't really synergize with anything. I mean, he can pull people into your team, kind of, sometimes. It's a very slow skill shot that's easy to dodge. It usually needs to be preceded by some form of other CC. Um, his ultimate completely goes against team play. Uh, you kind of alt people if you have, say, a Yumi attached to you. You kind of just leave her out to dry. You kind of leave your entire team out to dry. When he was uh, coming out, people were speculating he was just going to build full tank and alt the carry, which that's not what he does. Basically, he just alts the most useless person so he can kill them quickly. <clears throat> it's not fun or interactive. It really isn't. It's just annoying. Um, he's also lost a lot of, in my opinion at least, his playstyle. Old Mordekaiser, you basically shoved the wave. I, th I think of it a lot as like Aurelian Souls early game. You shove the wave, or specifically Aurelian Souls level 1, more so than his early game, but through the entire span of laning phase. So. You shove the wave, hard shove, and if the opponent contests you, you punish them for it. You W yourself in a minion, you attack the wave and just shove it. And if someone walks up, you hit them with your Q. Uh, you can poke them with the E, you can try to all in them, you can ult them, run them down with Nimbus Cloak. There's a lot more you can do on Old Mordekaiser. His roams weren't good. This is why it was okay for him to have good wave clear. But uh, new Mordekaiser, you Q with the enemy and minion when you can, which has a much longer cooldown than old Mordekaiser's E. I believe at at full uh, rank, I think it's four seconds. But I believe old Mordekaiser's E was five seconds at all ranks, uh, and it had a wider area, not as long. Uh, New Mordekaiser's E is a 26 second cooldown, primarily, uh, until you max it second, uh, which is very, very, very long cooldown, and you have to land your E to be able to engage on someone. You can't really just run at someone with your Q, <clears throat> and if you miss it, which it is very slow moving, uh, it does go through minions, so that's nice, but it's very, very easy to dodge. And if you miss it, then you just gotta wait 26 seconds to be able to really do anything again. It does have some outplay potential with like pushing people behind you, kind of like a pike queue. And for what, the, for what it's worth, I do find that interesting. I do like the ability, but it's just very, very, very long cooldown and too easy to dodge. It's like a worse Swainy, but it goes through the back wave of the minions. Um, and the reason that I have a problem with um, removing the playstyle, like, I don't mind that they reworked him. If, I mean, nobody played him. He's going to get reworked. That's the truth. But Riot has done a lot since the Aatrox rework to make him play at least somewhat more like Aatrox. The Aatrox, or they wanted him to have something. Because when Aatrox came out, he was he was nothing like old Aatrox, and he still isn't exceptionally similar. But even Hashinshin, the old Aatrox man, has given them some credit to making Aatrox play more like Aatrox. He now kind of just whittles you down with a range of ability before he all ends you. It's basically the same thing he used to do. Just he's no longer an auto attacker, which I didn't play Aatrox. I still don't. I'm just saying from another Aatrox player. Um, and it bothered me even more, and probably the main reason I'm making this video, is with the Pantheon rework. Uh, Pantheon hardly got changed. He basically got a new skill shot, that's it. Uh, and in the Pantheon rework video, they talked about wanting to keep him similar and this really upset me because why are you respecting 
Pantheon's kit if you're not respecting Mordekaiser's at all. It frustrated me a lot. And... Like, it just seems like Riot does not care about Mordekaiser. Uh, they have given him no actual changes. All, all, he came out pretty strong, and understandably they gave him nerfs, but how about you change some things around? I even have some suggestions that I've been saying. And... Another thing, since he's become a lot less mechanical, in my opinion, he's just lost a lot of outplay potential. Like his old W, you could bait people in and make you make them think you were significantly lower than you were, and then heal and get a big shield. Uh, his, microing his ghosts had a lot of skill behind it, like actually controlling two champions at once. Now you land your E, you kind of just kill someone. Or you alt somebody, they're not a Kali or Echo, okay, you kind of kill them. It's extremely boring. I like to think of him as an AP Garen. Like, even Darius has more skill and outplay potential than New Mordekaiser. It's just boring, it's stale. It was fun for the first week, and now I, it's just boring. Uh... His base stats aren't even, like, better. Granted, some of them had been nerfed. But uh, his base AD was never as high as old Mordekaiser. So, he, I mean, his, he got 10 move speed. That's nice. He got more armor. That's nice. And he actually got real champion health, kind of. I believe it's still lower than most bruisers, but it's a lot higher than it used to be. Uh... His, uh, what was I going to say? There was something relating to base stats. I don't think it was relating to... Oh, he even got shafted on skins. Like, if you look at the uh, new Pantheon skins, they put a lot of work into those. And there was one rioter, I don't remember his name, who was really trying to get Riot to put some more time into the Mordekaiser skins. Shout out to that guy, but they just really didn't. A lot of his skins got shafted with like super lazy just color changes and ha they were so half-assed. Some things that I've suggested that they just changed is uh, remove the base stamp, remove the um, max health damage on his uh, DOT ring. Uh, that's one change. Remove the movement speed on his DOT. Uh, it's not technically a DOT, but Darkness Rise, the passive. Uh, I would really, really love to see them put AD ratios back into his kit, but I'm not holding my breath. I would also love for them to either put an AP ratio into his heal, lower the cooldown of his heal, or what I would really like them to do is basically swap his new uh, W onto his passive and his passive onto his W. So kind of similar to old Mordekaiser, where his passive would be the exact same as old Mordekaiser, um, where he gets a shield for 25% of the damage he's done. Remove the shield generated for damage you've taken. That is stupid. You shouldn't be rewarded for taking damage. I don't even like that now um, and make his W have a cooldown have a 4 second duration like it used to and just for now for just make it a ring on himself he doesn't need it on an ally although I do think it would be cool to be able to use it on an ally and a minion again it would add more outplay potential but just go with the ring around himself for now have 12 to 8 second cooldown somewhere in that region and add back the heal pop on it like old Mordekaiser W just on himself um, and this would make his wave clear better, him more viable mid lane uh, healthier in the jungle so he doesn't have an absurd clear time I know that was a problem when he first came out, I know it's been nerfed now but uh Another thing they could try to do is, instead of getting 10% of the stats, 
from someone you kill during your ult. Remove that, and if you kill someone in the death realm, give them or give you their ghost. Just bring back the ghost. That's a common complaint. Uh, I'd, I'd like some skill to this champion. <clears throat> and you don't have to do all of these things. Just show that you care about the old player base and make some changes that show that. Like, you've done nothing to him so far other than numbered nerfs. And I'm not saying he doesn't need, or didn't need nerfs, I'm just saying do something else than numerical nerfs. Like, change his kit. Um, so, yeah, I know some other Mordekaiser players are very happy with the rework, and I'm I'm happy for them. But uh, his play rate's gone up, but it's uh, significantly dropped since uh, his initial rework because he just had the glare of, ooh, a new champion. I'm going to play him. And now he's kind of faded into obscurity again. And he he did need rework. There were a lot of bugs, but that is partially what made him fun. Is it was really fun just interact or encountering bugs. You never knew when one was gonna happen or which one. There were so many, and most of them hurt Mordekaiser, but I I didn't complain. It was fun, uh, but I'd really like just some changes to his kit to try to replicate old Mordekaiser in as little or as big a way as possible. But thanks for watching, and if you agree with me or have any disagreements, suggestions, whatever, let me know.